Okay, I'm back. I am back. Um, I worry my iPad doesn't like to use up a lot of um, memory. It gets me on the memory. So, hang on while I do certain things here. Okay, so the last things I want to show you came from the Buy the Pound store. So, the one thing, uh, if you don't know, it's a room full of bins and bins and bins, and you literally you dig through the piles to try to find good things. We got there very late in the day. The bins were really picked over, and they never brought out any new bins when I was there. So we still found um, five or six what I think are good things. Uh, I w it would have been nice to come home with more, but oh well. So, excuse me, I'm tired. It's late. One of the things we found was this. Let me get again where you can see it. So um, Buzz Lightyear, Space Ranger... Um, I thought at first it was just a piece of fabric, but if you look at it here, it's got a hem. It's been very neatly hemmed, and it's too small to be like a sheet. It, it's kind of the size, I, I'm assuming it's like a crib blanket, the way it's been hemmed. So, um, worst, I mean, I, what we'll do is, I mean, I could put it up as a sheet because it's got a hem on it. But what most people I think are going to do is they'll buy it for the fabric. It's a good sized piece of fabric. Very nice, very clean looking. The colors are really brilliant. Uh, it's fun. It's real super looking. So I think somebody will buy that for the fabric alone to make something neat out of it. So they charged me a dollar for this separately. I don't know why it doesn't isn't included in the buy the pound, but it's not. So dollar. Um, so now everything I'm going to show you now was weighed, and then I'll tell you how much we paid at the end of it all. Um, and I have another tip. Oh, what do you know? Wow, two tips in a row. So this looks like a big old black plain sweatshirt. It was inside out. And a lot of the shirts in the bins are inside out. And if anybody bothered to turn them right side out, they might have seen what it was, which I thought was pretty cool. Which was, oh, here was my hint. Let me see if you know. I saw this and went, oh, wait, that's Rosie O'Donnell. And then I saw this on the back and flip it around that on the front so this is a ginormous what size is it oh gosh the glasses back on back off back on back off it is a oh my gosh I swear that says 6x it really does it says like 5 or 6x I've never had a shirt that big. I really haven't. I could try. I might wear this. So, um, it's, again, really big, really nice, rosy, cute. Now, I have no idea, again, if there's a market for this. If anybody cares about Rosie O'Donnell, rosie.com, I just, I again, for the price, I wasn't going to leave it behind. And the price, you'll find out in a minute, because when I tell you, I wasn't going to leave it behind. So, there was that. Um, this was also turned inside out, and... Um, it's a scrub top, which is what caught my hands, because when you're going through, you kind of get a feel for fabrics and what they feel like. And this, I went, hey, that's a scrub top. It's also a really big scrub top. Again, I feel like it's a 5X as well. Maybe it came from the same person. But when I turned it right side out, look what we found. Where is it? There it is. General Hospital. Yep. Yep says General Hospital on it, as in the soap opera. So I don't know if this was a promo item that was sold. I'm assuming it's a promo item for General Hospital because even if there was a hospital called General Hospital, I don't think they'd put their logo on their, on their um, scrub. So somebody who wants a scrub top, it's a nice scrub top. Or somebody, I'm trying to show you how big it is. It's really big. See? Um... And obviously, for a General Hospital fan, I'm assuming there still are General Hospital fans. Um, I know soaps aren't as hot as they used to be, but certainly somebody out there is a huge fan and would like to have the shirt. So we're hoping that'll get us something. Next up, oh, let me save that one because that was too funny. Um, this was kind of the wild card. I actually meant to ask my son if he wanted to have this. Um, this is a Hunter's shirt. Now, we saw the same exact shirt at our church rummage sale, our church um, charity shop, and they wanted a lot of money for it. So 
this, like I said, came by the pound. Now, if you look close, if you can see again, if I come back far enough, it is spread event. And at the bottom, up enough, you'll see, oh, actually, let me go this way. And then it's that um, Venom, is it? None of my Spider-Mans. Uh, very nice quality shirt, silk. I don't know if it's not actually silk. Again, here come the glasses again. It is a double XL. It is polyester, but it feels doesn't have that squeaky polyester feel. And again, the tag is Hunters. I have seen these online before. Um, again, more of a rescue than anything else because I thought I can't leave that behind. Let me look quick. Hunters, Spider Man. And let's see what we got. Uh, Hunters, so, ooh, that one only sold, gosh, I might have made some bad picks today, because that one it looks like, again, well, that was an ugly version. Um, oh, here we go. Okay, no, maybe not. So this shirt right now is up, two people have it up for $54.99. show you again what I'm talking about. $54.99. And... Uh, $49.99 for this shirt. That's right now on eBay. Now, no one's bought them for that yet. Oh, wait, there's no way to tell how long they've been listed. Um, and those are only mediums. This is a 2X, which is excellent. So I think we're going to do really well with that one. Again, I said, unless my son claims it. Um, this, oh, God, sorry, the glare. Let me get that off. This was pretty funny. I know I keep saying I'm going to take these off and driving you crazy with this, I'm sure. Special police. So, what caught my eye first, again, digging through bins, was this here. And then I saw this and thought, oh, that's funny. Um, it's tin, too. It's not plastic. Um, and then I saw all these other parts of this. Let me give it, snap it up a little bit so you can see. I th what I thought it was when I first saw it was a security guard shirt. Um, you know, obviously, or a police shirt, but it didn't seem like a police shirt. It looked maybe like a security guard shirt. So I saw this and went, security guard shirt. But then I went down a little bit and saw how it flares and realized that what it is is a sexy policewoman uh, costume, miniature, mini costume. And what's really funny <laughs> is the name of the company that makes it. Let's see if I can get it for you. Foreplay, with little lips there. Uh, that's who made this. This comes from, oh wait, does it say born in, what does it say born in Hollywood, does it? Oh, I love that. So it apparently is made for um, a little um, role play at home. So cute. And we've been collecting costumes. So uh, there you go. I don't like to put up, kind of a weird pet peeve of mine, I don't like to put up shirts or any kind of costuming that looks like real uh, police uh, or FBI, like those t-shirts that say FBI agent or anything on them. Um, I don't know. I just feel weird about it. But no one's going to mistake this as my husband laughed. If someone put this on and pulled him over, he'd be like, oh, yes, officer. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Sexy little police girl outfit um, with nothing underneath, but that's probably how it's meant to be worn. I didn't realize how much stuff I bought. Uh, this was kind of, again, like we couldn't leave it behind. Um, underdog T-shirt. Uh, the graphic, it looks like it's been washed a few times, but otherwise it's in good shape. We think we, I think we had this before and have actually sold it. Again, mostly... Love the size. It's very large, and uh, it's a 2XL. Um, and, yeah, gosh, I may try some of these on myself. So that was worth grabbing. I didn't tell you how much yet, I know. And two more items. One of these was a punt. We'll tell you about that in a second. So this, I'm hoping, is the best item in the bunch. So what we have here is Mickey Gilly Tour 87. Uh, it says the same thing on the back, and it's um, it's like embroidered in. It's a nice pink sweatshirt. And if you don't remember, Mickey Gilley was um, a singer, 
Um, he had a bar. He was became really popular in the urban cowboy era with everybody, you know, doing uh, line dancing and all of that. So a Mickey Gilly tour shirt, not a pink sweatshirt, a tour shirt from a year after, I think like 89 or something, sold recently for something like $75. So I think the pink is actually going to make this a little less desirable. Um, it's a large, so that's good. But it sure is rare, and there wasn't anything else like it. So I'm hoping this is my, you know, $80 hint. Because I'll tell you a funny thing. We went to um, lunch, as we often do, when we go thrift shopping. And I always say it's not what we spend at the thrift store. It's what we spend eating out while we're thrifting that kind of really costs me. But we went to this new restaurant called Snooze, which has breakfast all day, like high-end, crazy wild breakfast. If you have one year, you have to go. But... They were, took so long to get us our food, she comped us the entire meal. Like, I thought she was going to give us like $5 off the belt. She gave it to us, our meal for free. So uh, this was a great run because we had a free breakfast, and that let us then also go buy lunch. So the last thing I got in that set, I never buy kids' clothes because I have had kids' clothes, and I worry that people get confused if it's kids' clothes this, and I'm lying because I do have a lot of kids' costumes up right now, but I tend not to just buy kids' clothes. But this, and somebody tell me if I'm wrong, these numbers on here, the way this is laid out, says Back to the Future to me. I'm assuming. <laughs> and it, it, isn't it isn't a licensed Back to the Future, but I think that's what these dates are. So I haven't looked it up yet. Um, you can tell me if I'm right or wrong before I get a chance to look it up. Uh, so I think it was kind of a joke that, like, it's a Back to the Future, like babies going back to the future or something. I don't know. Uh, that's what I thought. So I threw it in because, as you remember, it's a buy-the-pound store, which means I pay $2.50 a pound. So for the weight of this, this thing probably cost me about 25 cents. So let's recap. I'm coming back. Don't worry. So this pile here, which included the Mickey Gilly sweatshirt, the police costume, the underdog shirt, the hunter's Spider-Man shirt, which could be worth $50, the general hospital scrub, and the very, very, very large Rosie O'Donnell sweatshirt cost me $11. So that's, we won't count the toy shirt, the baby shirt. One, two, three, four, five, six items. So that means at max, I paid about $2 a piece. Um which could sound kind of high, like for the t-shirt, but the sweatshirts, you cannot get sweatshirts for $2, even at the Goodwill. Uh, they're generally like 4 or $5. So $11 for this whole thing is pretty good. And again, that's the thing about buy the pound, is the heavier stuff that you buy, obviously the price goes. So like if I had bought, if this had been 11 t-shirts, I would have paid probably closer to $0.50 cents or $0.25 cents a piece for the whole lot. But obviously these are heavier um, shirts. We did leave behind uh, a what we thought was a fine when we found it, which was a Pierre Cardin suede bomber jacket. And we saw that and went, this has got to be a score. But we looked at them online, and people were selling the exact same one for like 8 $9. And it was so heavy, we knew that going by the pound, it was probably going to cost us at least $5 to buy it. So there was just nothing left. So that's it for me. That is all my flips, either in one video or two videos, depending how this goes up. Um, if you have anything to tell me about any of these things, please do. And then go over and visit us on Boris Basement on eBay. And uh, all this stuff, hopefully, will be listed sometime in the next couple of days. So if you want something here, leave me a comment or just go over and buy it from us. We are always open to taking offers. So please do that if you see something we have that you really like. So I hope you did some great thrifting this week and got some good bargains. Uh, tell me about those in the comments below or link me to your haul videos. Love haul videos. Okay, have a great night. Bye.